What's up guys, EG Driven Demon here. I am going to do a short little tutorial type video on setting up some OBS stuff. Um, let's see, let's start off uh, right here with my main screen. Uh, I got OBS Studio 64 bit running with my normal, semi normal stream setup. Uh, I've got some some different scenes here I can I'll show you guys how to do uh, but let's go ahead and do to make a new profile uh, let's just call it intro and then we can uh, switch over to that pro oh it copied everything that's not what I wanted I didn't want you to copy stuff oh scene collection that's what I need to Actually, I don't need that. I'll do that one. We'll make a new scene collection. Call it intro. And that should start us fresh. Perfect. And then uh, I'll show you guys how to add some stuff. Uh, you can rename the defaults scene to your recording scene. And then we can add sources from there down here uh, with this little checkbox here or a um, little plus sign I should say uh, you can do with this version of OBS that I have uh, we have a few options to do image browser source which is the, the overlay uh, that I'll show you guys here in a little bit a media source which would be a video or something if you want to play that uh, text you can do uh, free type, uh, which would be either just straight up text, or if you have like a, if you want to do like a now playing thing with uh, uh, T Wobble or Scrabbler or something like that. Uh, display capture, which would capture um, uh, Chrome or Firefox or something like that, uh, a window that you have open. Um, oh, wait, no. Display capture would be. Uh, like a monitor capture, uh, we can add that, and you'll uh, you'll do you'll get a bunch of those. Uh, let's remove that. Uh, window capture would be if you have like Minecraft or something or uh, Chrome or something that you want to capture that you'll have that open. Uh, game capture would be a specific game like Fallout 4 or stuff like that. Um, sometimes that's useful. Uh, video capture device would be like a uh, like my Xbox counts as a video capture device. Oh, that's my camera. Uh, and then my hop hog would show up here, and just hit OK. Oh, did it? Oh, there it goes. And then you can move stuff around. Uh, let's add. Let's add my cam. That's me. And then I can move that down here. And then we will do a filter. Uh, you can add effects and stuff. Um, you can chroma key that will automatically chroma out the green screen behind me. Uh, and with my Xbox, uh, since it's USB, I need to add a two second lag to my camera so everything shows up right and then as you see my green screen is working and I have everything a little close but uh, and then from there you can add audio input audio output uh, anything like that uh, here's where you um, can mess with your advanced audio uh, let's see I can add audio input uh, Desk mic. And then I can add that. And now I have that. Uh, and right here, I can take my desk mic volume, mess with that. I can offset it by two seconds to coincide with my Xbox gaming. And then everything, everything will uh, will sync up with my with the lag on my Xbox uh, to be hopefully pretty well in sync. But you can also uh, 
you can save these scenes. You can add another scene to, say, a streaming scene. And that will add another scene that you can uh, switch back and forth from. All you have to do is just click on it and it'll switch back through. Okay. Oh, let's see. Can I, I can duplicate this. Say recording to delete this one. And then we can rename this one to streaming. And then we will add a browser source, say overlay, uh, with the uh, way that we have, uh, with the way that uh, EG and Braden and I are currently doing uh, our overlay, um, we are doing it with an online thing kind of deal, uh, where it does a lot of our stuff automatically. And we just copy and paste the link and, uh, oops, I mixed that up. 20 by 1080. We'll just make that and it'll automatically get fancified if I don't freeze my program. Oh, I froze the program. That's interesting. Hold on a second. Close, close. Back up. Oh, came up in the wrong window. Oh. Um, intro, switch back over to here. So as you can see, it's got this browser source here. Um, I can edit the properties of this. We'll put the link in there. And then edit the properties again. Hey, there we go. Uh, looks good now. Okay, and then see, we have our uh, follower goal, our recent followers with a scrolling list. We did all this online. I can show you guys how to do that uh, another video. Um, but uh, this one was to, to get used to the UI a little bit. Um, uh, let's, uh, now that we have a, a couple scenes set up for recording, actually I can turn this off, see? Um, saying that I just wanna record my Xbox and my audio. Um, but now we'll go into the settings here. And for stream, depending on you can stream uh, to all of these. There, it's all pre-set up. Uh, basically, you'll just need your stream key, which you can get on that. Um, you can get that from Twitch or YouTube or whatever you're using to stream. Um, output. I have my streaming output all set up. Uh, I have it rescaled down to 720p. Uh, bit rate 2200 kilobits per second, uh, which is. Um, Rule of thumb, you're supposed to have about, I think it's like 20, 25% of your, uh, oh, up to like 50% of your upload bandwidth. And mine is at 2200, that seems to work out pretty well. Um, and then we have keyframe, you usually wanna leave that at zero. CPU usage preset. Uh, the higher you have it, the less CPU uses. Uh, it also cuts down a little bit. Uh, but most people will probably just use simple uh, here. It, it makes it pretty easy. Um, but I like to change my stuff a little bit. Uh, recording, I have all of my stuff. I have all of my stuff going to a secondary hard drive on my computer to a capture folder just in it. It captures everything under the date and time as the file name so you don't have to worry about much. Uh, I have everything rescaled again down to 720p. Bitrate on this is a lot higher just because it's recording, so it makes it better quality. So that's what I like to do. Um, audio, you can mess with this. You can do push to talk and all that stuff, but you don't really need to mess with that very much. Um, video, 
Uh, I have my base canvas at 1920 by 1080, output scale 720p, uh, 60 FPS, just because it, it makes it a little smoother. Uh, you can set up hotkeys uh, for doing start streaming, stop streaming, start recording, stop recording. Um, right now it's set up, I have a button on my keyboard that I push one button and it starts recording and streaming at the same time. And then I hit that button again to stop it. That's and then I had I had a couple to switch to different uh, scenes. Oh, that's on my other profile. On my other profile, I have um I have a couple to switch different scenes. Um, basically, other buttons on my uh, keyboard there. And then advanced, I don't really mess with this. Um, you can mess with it a little bit. I don't know. It might. It'll mess with your performance a little bit. It might make things look a little better. But I haven't. I haven't messed with it. Uh, you, oh, you can actually you can change file name. Um, default. Uh, I just left mine the normal one. It uh, it prevents. It, it prevents uh, files from conflicting just because the time and date is never going to be the same on each one. Uh, automatically reconnects 10 seconds if, uh, if your stream dies. Um, other than that, uh, that'll be a, that'll be pretty much it for me for a general intro. Uh, oh, audio here. Uh, I just have everything set to 160. That's a, it's good audio rate. Um, not the best, but it'll. It's middle of the road. It's good for streaming. Um, but oh, before I go, we can do studio mode where you can transition between two scenes while you're here. Um, if you don't want to transition right away, uh, if you're saying, "Oh, say I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, let's do this and transition over to a. I'll be right back." Let me, uh, let me just go ahead and do that. Uh, let it go. Come on. And then we'll say, say yeah, it's on my, it's on my streaming or my recording one. And then we'll transition over to the intermission. I'll be right back, guys. And blah 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 blah. Here's here's some uh, check this stuff out. Wait wait. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, that'll be it for me. Um, I will. Uh, oh, did not mean to do that. Uh, but thanks for watching. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, it's EG Driven Demon signing off.